Let's convert the decimal, 0.76, to a fraction. So first off, let's call this 0.76 over 1. Since we're dividing by 1, it's still 0.76, but now it's starting to look like a fraction. We need to get the 0.76 to be a whole number. And I can see we have one two decimal places. Two decimal places, if we multiply it by 100, that'll give us a whole number. So 100 times 0.76, that equals 76. So we have our whole number. But we can't just multiply the numerator by 100. We also have to multiply the denominator. That's because 100 divided by 100, that's just 1. Since we're multiplying by 1, we don't change the value, just the way it's written. So 100 times 1, that is 100. And we have our fraction, 76 over 100. But we should probably simplify this further. Let's give ourselves some room here. So we could divide 76 by 2 and 100 by 2. They're both even numbers. That would give us 38 fiftieths. And again, we have even numbers. So let's divide by 2 again. 38 divided by 2, that's 19. And 50 divided by 2, that's 25. And we can't reduce this any further. So the decimal 0 0.76, that equals the fraction 19 over 25 or 38 over 50, or 76 over 100. And if you divide 19 by 25, or 38 by 50, or 76 by 100, you'll get the decimal 0 0.76. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.